Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day, what is up? Today's video is a little bit different. Um, I got some coffee here, got a cold brew with an ad shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually quite nervous about this video. I almost didn't start filming it. I was like, maybe I'll film a different video, but I think it's important to talk about, which is fast fashion, meaning like Forever 21, Zara, Topshop, all these places. And I've been noticing when I'm watching other YouTubers, especially if they're doing like fast fashion hauls, I'll see like in the comments, people being like, you know, this isn't ethical. Like, why are you buying from them, which I think is super awesome. Basically becoming more conscious of what we are purchasing. And I know when I learned about fast fashion, I was like, what? I learned about what fast fashion was um, by the documentary, The True Cost. That thing literally changed my life. That's the whole reason why I started thrifting. Disclaimer, I am not perfect whatsoever. Um, we are all on our own journey. And to an extent, I believe if you say shop at Forever 21 once a week versus, you know, every single day, you're making progress. Like you're doing the best you can because it's hard. I mean, ethical fashion is a little bit more expensive. Sometimes you think something's ethical and it's not actually ethical. So it does make it kind of difficult, especially when you're first coming into kind of that space. I believe doing anything is doing at least something. So I know personally when I used to see on my clothing um, tags that said made in China, made in India, made in Turkey, it never really like clicked in my head what that meant. The exploitation of workers in um, overseas countries is literally horrible. Um, basically to kind of start this, um, what is fast fashion? Why is it bad? Why does it even matter? Fast fashion is basically defined as a, you know, faster fulfillment, cheap, trendy clothing. If you online shop or you are signed into any like email updates from different brands like Forever 21, you get the emails almost every week, if not every day about new arrivals. We got this new trendy clothes. Oh, this is on sale now. Oh, everything is under five Five dollars back in the day they used to just have like two to four um, seasons so like winter spring summer fall all that jazz whereas now the fashion industry has 52 micro seasons there's just such a like continuous motion of this garment waste the fashion industry is actually the second to largest polluter in the world second only to oil issue with trying to get you know the least amount of costs with the most amount of stuff is it's not sustainable. At some point, somebody is being exploited or taken advantage of, and usually it's the workers. Most of your items are, if not all of them, um, are basically being made in overseas countries where they don't have good working conditions. They don't have laws even protecting them. They can literally work somebody 16 to 19 hours a day without any breaks and no overtime. And kind of an example of that um, was in 2013, oh, I actually wrote a speech <laughs> um, on fast fashion. It was a persuasive speech um, in one of my classes. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm reading. In 2013, the Rana Plaza building in Bangladesh collapsed. And according to um, fashionrevolution.org, which is an awesome site that talks about ethical fashion and all that jazz, 1,138 people died and another 2,500 were injured, making it the fourth largest industrial disaster in history. Just one day before the collapse, the building was actually briefly evacuated when cracked appeared in the walls, but workers were later allowed back in or, or were told to return by factory owners. So a lot of these places like H&M, Zara, Topshop, they have their garments made in these factories. And not only are the working conditions horrible, but like I said, also the wages are pretty terrible. Outlets such as H&M can sell hoodies for as little as $25 because Cambodian women will sew for roughly 50 cents per hour. And back in 2011, Brazil raided a clothing factory subcontracted by Zara, found workers, including children, being paid 10 cents per piece of clothing sold. In the actual True Cost documentary, there's a lot of people that are like, well, if they like don't like it, then just stop working there. And to an extent, like, these factories are paying more than some of the other jobs, but that's no reason to kind of exploit and capitalize on people needing jobs. Um, because at the end of the day, these are people. Just because you were born in a different country or a different city or a different state, I mean, we are all people and I think we should all be treated like people. So the thing is when you see these prices, especially as they're getting lower and lower, you have to think about, well, why are they getting lower and who's actually being affected 
buy it. So it even goes into like quality over quantity. Even when you think of say Topshop, now their prices are quite expensive. And just because they're expensive doesn't mean that they aren't exploiting um, their workers and paying them super little. I think that was like the biggest thing that I realized is like, oh, just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's actually like good. With fast fashion, it's all about quantity, literally. If you buy a shirt from Forever 21, it's only gonna probably last you six months. And I think it's funny that we almost look at it as a joke, like, oh, like I'll just buy a new one. And fast fashion literally as a business model is unsustainable. It's designed to, you know, it's hot today, but now it's gone tomorrow. That's the issue with kind of trends. It's all about being in style. In the US, only 10% of donated clothes actually get resold and the rest flood landfills, sending 1 trillion tons of our clothing to these landfills where they sit for 200 years, leaving toxic chemicals and dyes that contaminate our local soil and groundwater. So to an extent, it's like, well, why is fast fashion like a theme? Why don't they just like do better? Major companies outsource, you know, their products because it's cheaper to make something in China versus in the US. And the health and safety laws are disregarded due to major brands not owning these factories. So to an extent, it's like, oh, well, like we don't own the factories, so, it's not us. And so they profit hugely while remaining completely blameless. Zara um, actually in an article um, said that, that they can't be held responsible for unauthorized outsourcing, even though according to their code of conduct, they're responsible for everyone involved in the supply chain. The biggest issue is the blaming of like, is it the actual brand's fault? Is it the factory's fault? Is it the consumer's fault? And I've listened to a couple different like podcasts and different things of like, oh, well, what's the solution for it? And I think it all lies between as consumers. And I think even like specifically minimalism kind of touches on this, of uh, the idea of being just more conscious when you are purchasing stuff and kind of the idea that every dollar is kind of a vote. I will pay that amount, which just continues kind of the problem. In my case, I think fast fashion was an issue where I wasn't kind of thinking about what I'm even purchasing at that point. I was just buying just to buy. Whereas now with myself, with thrifting, yes, I may purchase stuff that I'm like, oh, do I really love this? And then I just buy it, which is almost kind of the same idea but to an extent I am usually still wearing it or I will resell it on Depop which then it's actually going to a person versus like just donating it and being like well yeah, okay for me I know with ethical fashion the issue is the pricing which makes sense it's you know they're gonna pay their workers a better amount they are hopefully going to be in better working conditions which is more money and so it's hard to kind of be like, oh, I can buy these jeans for $15 or I can buy these jeans for $70. First off, quality. Um, the amount of kind of quality that's going into the more ethical and sustainable item is going to be way better than that $15 item that's maybe only gonna last you a couple of months. If you know better, you'll do better. I was listening to the Lavender podcast and one of the girls said that and I was like, ooh, that's really good. Now, whenever I say go to the mall, which I don't really go to the mall, but if if I do and I look at an item, I'm like, oh yeah, that's cute. But then I just think about the process of what it had to go through to actually get it to the store right in front of me. And I'm like, oh, and I've definitely had my own kind of experience with the past couple of year where I definitely have compromised my ethics for working with different fast fashion brands. One issue I find sometimes with thrifters and I kind of like had an internal battle of like, but everyone else is doing this video, so I should do this video, but it's contradicting kind of like my ethics and what I believe in. And I'm definitely, again, trying my best. And that was kind of my big um, 2019 goal is to not really buy fast fashion, not promote it in any way on my channel. Personally, I believe buying secondhand fashion is the best way to be, you know, more ethical. It's a cheaper cost as well. So you almost are getting, if not better, prices than the mall and fast fashion brands with also helping to make sure that these items aren't polluting the world. It's ridiculous how much stuff we have. We don't need new stuff. And to an extent, trends or whatever, for me, I find thrifting um, makes it way better to express myself. I don't have a company telling me, you should be dressing like this. You should be wearing like this. You should look like this. I'm going to a thrift store and I'm like, what makes me happy, you know? So. It's definitely like a controversial topic and I kind of want to like start the conversation. I would love to do more videos like this if you guys would like me to. I know it's kind of all over the place, but I wanted to kind of just do an introduction of what fast fashion is, kind of like what my thoughts are on it. 
I didn't really have a plan. I didn't write down anything as well. And if you do like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me, be sure that you subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, alexsunshine83, um, to keep up to date with me. And I will see you guys this Sunday with a brand new sunny Sunday. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!